This is a piece that has had many chapters and many transformations over the course of my career. This is a compass rose, but not just any compass rose. It is one that I composed myself, and I wanted to bring all of the different elements of a compass rose together to speak to the Christian pilgrimage through life. Now this piece has seen many transformations, as I have said. It started originally as a drawing on calfskin vellum using pen and ink. Later, I was commissioned by someone to carve it large scale into a solid piece of mahogany. I brought out all of the details once drawn at the tip of a pen, now carved at the tip of a chisel, bringing them forward towards the viewer. It wasn't long after that that I was commissioned to actually have the wood molded and cast in bronze, which is a long and arduous process. You have to first create the silicone mold and then pour in the liquid wax into the mold. And from that, you get another casting where the wax is melted out, the bronze is poured in, and finally, you have this piece secured for all times in solid bronze. So in the center of this piece, you see the four spires that are separated out as a nod to the cross of Christ that is central to our faith. In the middle, you have a ship traveling across tumultuous seas, which is meant to depict us as the sojourner. And it is to say that it was our place on the cross that Christ took, and it was the cross that was for us. Outside of this, you have the heavenly hosts, these angels. And with one hand, they lend a hand of protection. And with the other hand, they lend a hand of direction. And all of them hold this continuous banner, which bears the eight original names of the eight winds as they were coined by Italian Navy men. Outside of that, you have the laurel wreath crown with its outer leaves pointing to the other 32 points on the compass. This is the crown of victory that the Apostle Paul spoke of as the reward for those who run the race of faith. Outside of that, I thought it was so interesting that you have eight winds and there are eight phases to the moon. And in the Old Testament, God informs his people to look to the new moon, to be mindful of the time that they are in, for we are in such a place for such a time as this. At the foot of the cross, you have the anchor with its rope wrapped around its lower spire. And that is to say that we should be anchored at the foot of the cross, penitent before God as we go. And then at the top is the crown of the king, because in the Old Testament, true north was actually outside of this realm and into the heavenlies as the kingdom of God. And so that is what defined true north for God's people. Inscribed around the outside of the compass rose is the final charge to the sojourner, which reads, true the course of sojourners be whose bearings are followed faithfully.